Hey guys, Cami here. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's having a great day or great night, wherever y'all are at. Well, um, I know the last one, last video that I did with the clothespin and making crosses, but there's another way I could I did with clothespins of a cross. It has a beautiful star in the middle. All you need is clothespins. Same way. And this is very simple and very easy. All you need is 10 of these. And uh, I'm going to kind of demonstrate what I can do. But like usual, you need to get rid of this uh, little metal piece because you don't really need it. And on my previous video when I did those crosses, the clothespins are like this. We're not going to do it that way. We're going to take the flat ends and glue them together. So it's going to be more like this. So uh, I am going to... Uh, Show you how to glue it on there. Use a uh, tacky glue. Now, you want to uh, make a little thin line right there and right right there, like usual. <coughs> then. You put them together like so. Kind of make sure it's even. That's how you put them together. And you want to make sure they're they are set to dry. So what I'm gonna do or for me to do the cross. See how it's put together. So you want to uh, do it this way. The first two. So, in order for you to glue them, you want to do two, You do two at it, two sets at a time. Dab the glue like that. And then you put them together. And what I do is I kind of kind of do it this way. Make sure it's even. And it's always best to let it say dry at least an hour to make sure the glue sticks. See, that way you can see what it looks like. Whoops. Okay. Then, after you do five little sections, then you can start assembling. The reason why I like tacky glue it holds a whole lot better. Don't use El Elmer's glue. Some people use uh, Gorilla's glue or soup, uh, 
super glue. Um, some use uh, a glue gun. It doesn't matter what you use, but usually I like uh, usually I like uh, tacky glue better. So, once you get them together, So, so you're going to end up having those right there. So the next step hopefully they don't fall apart on me, is I'm going to take one of these. And I'm only going to glue this part right here on the side. I'm gonna, on this one, I'm going to do both of them, both of the sides. You want to be able to put enough of the glue so that way it will hold. And these are going to be the sides. Like that. Like I said, you want to put in just enough glue so that way it holds. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. And on the uh, on the bottom part of this right here, I'm going to put glue right here. Very simple. Again, you want to put just enough glue to be able to hold it. Now, the best part is assembling it. Since, okay, it's all ready to go. So, I'll put that right there and then I'm going to attach this right there. Same way with that. You can tell how it's come into play. Then I do this. I turn that upside down. Now connect it right there. And then I connect this on the bottom. Voila. That's how you can make a cross with the clothespins. This is a different kind of way you can do uh, the crosses. Again, this is very simple. You can sit down with your uh, with your kids, your grandkids, your nieces and nephews, or anyone in your family. Um. 
you could buy these uh little clothes pins. You could buy them either at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Dollar General, Family Dollar, or whatever, and Dollar Tree. But I get mine over at Walmart. They're only a dollar seventy-eight. Or a pack of 100. And, um. Uh, but, uh, I don't know where my other thing is. But, um. These are very easy to do. This is more simpler than the other one. You can add, uh, the wings if you want to. You can add the wings right here if you want to. Or you don't have to add the wings. It does not matter. I mean, you you seen how I mean, you seen how this looks compared to this. So this one has is much more bigger, and it has a cross right here. This one right here is more smaller, and it has a, a star. And this one has the wings, and this one doesn't. But again, you can add wings, and if you do the wings, you want to do it just like this. Okay? Same way with the big ones. If you want to add wings, but you, you'll do less. Maybe like five or six of these, um, you know, if you want to. And you can use spray paint. Um... Or you can use regular paint or you can stain them. What I like is I like to stain them and I like to use this. And I like to use the silver and gold or gray. E either way, if you the way you want to do it. And you can buy a lot of stuff to be able to decorate if you wanted to. So... Like I said, very simple. You can sit down as a family. You can, you could do this, and um, uh, just to stay in, have fun. You know, keep the kids out of trouble. So, well, I hope this uh, video tutorial will help you make a uh, a newer cross. Um, I am trying to come up with new ideas and. Uh, look up some new ideas on crosses and stuff. And I'm also trying to make something else. And it's not a cross, but it's going to take me a little bit to figure out how to do it. And, uh, and how to make an, a video of it. Um, because I might have to have someone else to help me make a video of it. So, um. But if you want me to make a video of what the something else I'm going to do, let me know, okay? Just leave a comment below. Um, if there's anything you want me to uh, try to make with clothespins, you know, leave a comment below, okay? Because uh, I like to get, uh, to get new ideas and all that stuff. So, well, I hope you all enjoyed the video and uh y'all like and subscribe leave good positive comments and leave me some good comments of stuff that i can do and uh and i'll do whatever i can do to make it and then uh then i'll do a video of it and show everyone how to uh to make it so it's gonna, I wanted to make more stuff with uh, clothespins because they're easy. So, and y'all have a great day or a great night, and uh, I will be seeing y'all soon. Love y'all guys. Bye.